everybody as you can see we've got the nice beautiful xbox one <clears throat> and we've got call of duty ghosts which was a farce to get because i still have my 360 copy because they wouldn't let me trade that in but yeah we've got the unboxing of it I'll just turn it around got a nice piece of cardboard that says xbox one not needed we've got xbox one manual we've got Ooh, some stickers. Keep equipped, whatever that's for, an Xbox One. Thank you for being part of day one. There's that, which uh, uh, has the day one achievements and stuff, which I'm going to obviously redeem that before anyone can steal it. Because I want that day one achievement. We've got the controller, we'll just open that up. Oh, light. I think maybe still need batteries in. Oh, look at that. Day one. Ooh, nice. Change of buttons there. It's no longer the like, triangles, but feels nice. It's quite, quite, hmm, quite smooth, but I suppose all controllers are at the start. We've got power brick, which that is one brick batteries plug for the power brick HDMI oh something I didn't know was going to be coming with it but a nice headset is that it's actually quite cool that headset let's take that over there Ugh. and the Xbox One <laughs> no the Kinect which is a lot bigger than I thought it was and a lot heavier don't know if I'll be using that, I'll probably test it but now the main attraction once we can get this open we'll move the box out of the way And here it is, the nice Xbox One, once I can get the cholestyrene off it. And yeah, it looks nice, in my opinion. There's the plug-in part thingers at the back. But yeah, now cut to the video that I'm going to talk in. Bye bye, for now. What's up everybody, we're back from the recording of the unboxing stuff and uh, I'm just going to quickly give a show of the dashboard and I'll talk about the thing I wanted to talk about. So as you can see there, my name's Karoxy97, if anyone wants to add me, feel free. And the dashboard, in my opinion, is very well laid out. Like, instead of having like the 20 different... Uh, like headings, they've just got the three, so they got your pins. So whatever you, whatever you pins there, and then they've got your home, so pretty much like your TV stuff like that. Then you got stores, so you can go and buy games. One thing I would say about the game stores, I'd like the games to be cheaper. I realise you can't expect brand new games to be like ten pound or anything, but that's not what I'm expecting. I buy games. At fifty pound or whatever, and I get the box and whatever. I realise the box doesn't cost you like twenty pound, but if the box is I don't know, say five pound, then you should have five pound off the games. It's just, just something simple. It's I feel it's quick loading, and then we'll just quickly go to YouTube. See how quick that was. Very quick, but yeah. Um, what I wanted to talk about was the fact that I couldn't trade in my Call of Duty Ghosts from Xbox 360 to the Xbox One version. For some reason, um, you need to be 18 for a 16 game, so it doesn't really make too much sense. And uh, it was just a bit of a farce. So pretty much I only got Call of Duty Ghosts and 
I've got Killer Instinct. So once you can see there, I've got pinned. Once that comes out, I'll definitely be getting it. I wasn't going to be able to before, but once it comes out, I'm getting it definitely. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more Xbox One gameplay. I realize this is just dashboard gameplay, but stay tuned for Xbox One gameplay. Bye.